beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Sweet Sadie J. I am making some boiled potatoes that I had gotten from the pantry last month and needed to be used up before I go back to the pantry this month. And I added a bag of frozen green beans and they are almost ready to go. The potatoes are like very, very nice, just the way I like them. And I will put some salt and pepper and um, butter in these. And I'm gonna move those over here, take those off. I'm gonna sit you guys down for a minute so I can drain this real quick. And I'm gonna make a small little quick turkey meatloaf. I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna make a small quick turkey meatloaf. But let me drain the water off of this so that I can get seasonings in here. Oops. Hot, hot, hot. Be right with you guys. Hold on. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. I try not to put a time on my videos anymore because, you know, it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> so, um, welcome back to my channel, you guys. I appreciate all the love that you constantly show my channel. It's been a long road, but as long as I see progress, you know, I'm good. So, I left a little bit of water in here, as you can see, and I'm going to Put some butter in here, some salt and pepper, and I will be using the iodized salt natural, the iodine um, salt natural salt that I got from the Dollar Tree. This looks a little on the bright side. Let's darken this a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using. And I will be right back, guys. Hold on one moment. Okay, my beautiful people. You see I've got the butter. And I used the garlic, garlic and pepper seasoning that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is my first time using it. So, well, in the bigger container anyway. I bought this in the smaller container, but I put just a little bit and a little bit of the salt natural. And I'm just gonna put this, you see the big thing of butter in there? I'm going to cover that up and put that back over here on the stove and just let that sit there while I get my meatloaf together. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I make my little plain Jane meatloaf. I don't like all the fancy stuff. I've never put, um, <coughs> excuse me y'all, I've never put tomato sauce on <laughs> my meatloaf. Even though it's not bad, I've tasted it, but I just don't make it that way. I'm such a plain Jane, guys. So I am going to be um, trying to come up with some interesting content for you guys to continue to still watch. And I'm hoping that you guys are still watching, even though there are not a lot of Dollar Tree um, hauls. But I'm using this one of the Butterball ground turkeys that I got in my first online um, Walmart, which should have gone up before this. Oh man. Oh, I'll just been saying, I know I had gloves in it until the epidemic. I never had any problems finding the gloves at the Dollar Tree. Now you can barely find them. And these are my last two. Doggone it. Ooh. I think I go online and order some if I really, really need to because you can still order them online. But y'all know I don't like to get meat and chicken under my nails and stuff. So even though I don't have the long nails anymore. So I've got the meatloaf in the bowl or the ground turkey in the bowl. And I'm going to be using just a little bit of the seasoning blend just to give it, you know, a different trying to break it up and we'll just add a little bit this has onion celery red peppers green peppers and parsley flakes so I'm just going to squish the tur brown turkey up and try to get uh, <laughs> sorry y'all <laughs> this little hole is not coming out and I watched too much come out I'll tell you what I'll 
Oh God, I can't even break it up. All right, you guys. This stuff is in a big old clump. Great value. Okay, that should be enough. I'm gonna sit that over there. And now I'm gonna crack one egg and put that in there. And then I'm going to take some of my uh, breadcrumbs. I think these are from Dollar Tree or Aldi's. I don't know which one. Breadcrumbs is breadcrumbs to me. And I put a little bit of breadcrumbs in here to bind it. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning in everything. A little Lowry seasoned salt. I already put, did I put this in there yet? A little bit of garlic pepper. Not too much, because I hate when it's over seasoned. And a little accent. And this is a little Italian seasoning. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. And a little onion powder. Great value onion powder. Okay. And I'm going to mix that all up. See if I can't get these veggies to break up. Mix that egg in well. And if it's too wet, you can always add more breadcrumbs which I typically do until I get it to the consistency that I like it. I'm still working hard trying to break these veggies up. And I'm going to throw this baby in the oven and hopefully within 30 minutes she should be done. And I should have me some delicious meatloaf with green beans and boiled potatoes. Uh-oh. I hope I have some more breadcrumbs in the house. I usually always do, but I got plenty of bread in the refrigerator where I can go back to old school and make the old fashioned breadcrumbs like my mother used to do. No worries. I'm trying to stay out of those doggone stores. And this is a shock to my system, y'all, to be off and not go to the Dollar Tree. Ooh, wee. <laughs> but I will admit, it has given me time to catch up with my, you know, filming and, and editing and uploading because I just keep going to the Dollar Tree, buying stuff and coming in and putting it in piles and go, okay, this is for this day or whatever. And it's just like taking over my house and uh, I have to be to work at four o'clock in the morning. And so I'm late. I'm usually getting ready to go to bed around this time. It's almost 7 o'clock. It's like 6.41 right now. And I'm usually going to bed right now. But the good thing about going in early is you get off early. So if you're tired, you can just come home and get some rest. So that's what I'm planning on doing because, yeah, my day didn't go as always. <laughs> it didn't go as I planned. So I've got the mint, the egg, the seasoning and the few little frozen veggies that I put in here. I've already sprayed, I put a little piece of foil down on my pan, you can see it, and I sprayed it with a little um, olive oil spray. And now I'm just gonna work this together and mold it into a small little meatalofa. A small little meatalofa. And it's gonna be divine, because you can see all those onions and peppers in there, oh yeah. That just gives it that extra, you know, kick. And all I do is just work that into a cute little loaf. And this is why I say 30 minutes or less because it's a small, a very, very small meatloaf. So this will probably feed me two meals, you know, depending on my work schedule. So I will eat it tonight and I'll probably eat it again tomorrow night and maybe, maybe I'll have enough for the next night. I don't know. Y'all know how it is when you're greedy, <laughs> especially if it's good, you know? So, okay. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Like I said, I'm very plain. I don't do the ketchup or the tomato sauce or anything like that. However, when I eat my meatloaf, I do put ketchup on it. So. I know, go figure, right? And I'm gonna put it in the oven, and I've got the oven set on 350, and I'm gonna get the timer up to, because I forgot to put the oven on, y'all, 
and it has to preheat I'm gonna get put the timer on for 45 minutes okay just to make sure my meatloaf well that's gonna be when I come back and check it and I'll come back with you guys when it's all done thanks for watching guys bye all right my beautiful family this is the end result of my meatloaf and boiled potatoes with green beans and I am getting ready to really really dive in because I am hungry and I will be putting ketchup on my meatloaf but everything came out divine I hope you guys enjoy watching love peace and happiness sweet city J coming back at you stay safe out there everyone please like comment and subscribe bye guys